Hey everybody, I'm Charlie. And I'm Twyla. And we're going to be showing you how to make hidden folders in Mac OS X Leopard. We start out by creating a document. It's not really necessary. Go to text edit. And uh, let's just type something in. What do you think, Twyla? Um, hidden folder awesomeness. Hidden folder awesomeness. And we're going to save this as, let's call it a, uh, pick a number. 15. 15. And we're saving that to our desktop. There it is. We can quit text edit. And we're going to go down to one of my favorite applications, Terminal. And we're going to type in mkdir space dot. The dot means it's a hidden folder. And uh, what should the first folder be called, Twyla? Twi Twyla Charlie. Let's just have Twyla. And then we'll make another one, mkdir space dot charlie. And here's a command you might not know for terminal. mv for move. And we hit dot twyla. In fact, we had a comma there. Twyla into dot charlie. Go. We can quit terminal. We can go down to finder. You have to be in your home directory. Hit shift command g for the go to. You'll notice I have a period sitting there. It's important later. Keep in mind. Uh, and we're going to type in dot charlie. Oops, spelled Charlie wrong. That's what wrong. I know. Now, dot twyla. So the hidden folder dot twyla is actually within the hidden folder dot charlie. We drag 15 into it. Go back to the home directory, hit shift command G, and period. Because you might have noticed that when you first go back to something, uh, it'll show what you last searched, and you don't want that to happen. If we just type in dot charlie zero items. How about dot oops, dot twyla zero items. And how about 15 text edit? Absolutely nothing. Alright, so from here to see your hidden folder without say you accidentally lose it, you can type in this command. Go to text edit, open up terminal as well. Let's go back to text edit. I'm going to open a recent one of mine. It's called... Oops, we just opened that one. Um, it's this. This is just stolen from a lot of websites. Not stolen necessarily, but it's a whole lot of commands for terminal. And you want to ha have this one. Default, write, com, apple, dot finder, apple, show all files, rule, yes. Copy it. All right, there it goes. And now we relaunch Finder. Go to Alt Command Escape for the Force Quit menu. There we go. And you'll now notice these are sitting up here, and they are hidden folders. Go to Macintosh HD. You'll see all these little hidden folders, and you'll notice in here that you can now see them. There's Dot Charlie right there. Click on it. Within it's Dot Twyla. And there's 15. That's just in case you ever forget. And this is also how to delete something. You drag dot charlie to the trash, close the finder window, empty the trash, and now we paste this back in. Oh my. Oops. It's the same thing except instead of bool, yes, it's bool. No. There. Now we quit terminal, quit text edit, alt command escape. Relaunch Finder. And they're gone. Well, that's the entire tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you for watching. Don't we, Twyla? Mm -hmm.